indigo bohemian art and today I'm going to show you a sink strainer pour with a twist. Basically the twist had to happen to save the pour and it turned out not too bad. So keep watching, I'll show you how it happened. Hi it's me Dawn and today we're going to do a sink strainer pour. This is the sink strainer I just bought, isn't it pretty? I got it at the Yisk store. It's kind of a knockoff IKEA store. Anyway, I haven't had much success in the past with sink strainer pours because I keep buying sink strainers that don't work well. Anyway, I'm going to layer the paint in this cup to make a dirty cup and then I'm basically going to pour it through the strainer and we'll see what kind of cool effects we get. I have metallic white. Um, I have a violet, a red, I have a metallic orange, and a bright yellow. The colors will be in the description below the video. I think I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take me a couple of minutes to pour all this paint into the cup. I'll be back in a minute. That's pretty much all the paint that I mixed. It's all in the cup here. Okay, let's grab that sink strainer. Um, oh, this could be a problem. There's no flat part on the base. I'm actually going to have to hold it while I pour the paint through. Well, that's going to make things interesting. Um, actually, that's a lot of white about to come out through there. I think I'm going to turn the cup around. Okay, here goes. Unfortunately, I can't see what's going on because I'm looking through the strainer and so are you, so we won't see how this is working out for a few seconds yet while I finish running all the paint through. I'm just going in circles around the strainer, trying to hold the strainer still since I have to hold it up myself. I'll just let that paint finish trickling through. Some interesting colors showing up. Seems like the orange is predominant though. Haven't really worked in this particular color combination before, so wasn't sure what we were going to get. There is definitely not as much definition in this as I had hoped for. Uh, many sink strainer pours look like a mandala or a big daisy or a peacock kind of deal. But even though there's a lot of orange here, I know as I tilt it, some of the other colors will peek through. I'm going to work with the weight of the paint, basically to just keep twirling it until I have the canvas covered and then we'll get the corners. And I'm hoping to open up the design and the colors, although this is not going to look anything like I had hoped it would. But you can see the paint is stretching and a little more purple is showing through, a little more yellow is showing through. I 
it's a little disappointing. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to. But we may be able to make something from this that you'd be proud to show off on your wall. Okay, I'm going to try to get the paint into the corners now. I thought I had mixed it just a little bit thinner than usual, but I guess I didn't because it's, it's moving slow today. Even though there's some weight to it, it's moving slow because it's a little on the thick side. Okay, there's more of the purple pulling through. It's a very bright and cheery painting, but definitely not what you would think a sink strainer pour would look like. I just gotta get this one corner. Sometimes the paint moves so slow. Okay, I think we've got the canvas pretty much covered. I'm gonna use the weight of the paint to move the design around a little bit. Hopefully make it look a little nicer. There's some little tiny white and pink pinwheel looking designs that I want to move back to the center. Oh, this so does not look like I thought it would. I mean, it's kind of funky with the purple and pink and yellow and orange. But it was not what I was going for. Wow. Sometimes that happens though. There is a a definite random element to acrylic pour painting. Well, I'm not sure I can do much more with this. In the middle there's a, a just faintly the little pinwheels from the sink strainer pattern, but that sink strainer I'm not using it again. It just didn't work very well. Oh well! Well, that's my sink string report for today. Okay, I took my gloves off and I came back and looked at this and thought, wow, there must be something more I can do. As you saw, I've got a little bit of paint left in the bottom of my dirty cup and I am going to make a tree ring pour in the middle of my sink strainer pour and we're just going to play around. As is, I didn't like it, so if I can embellish it or improve it in any way, well we might end up with something that someone wouldn't mind hanging on their wall. Okay, I've just about got all the paint that I'm going to be able to get out of this cup onto the canvas. Okay, it's just a teeny tiny tree ring, but I'm going to tilt and try to make it bigger and stretch it out and... Oh, interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but as it's moving in the middle of the canvas, the other paint from the first pour is kind of moving with it. So there's some weight to it and I can actually um, get this paint to twirl a little bit. Huh. This could be very interesting. Okay, I'm going to speed this up and we'll see what we end up with and find out whether we actually save this painting or not.
Okay, I'm going to try to get that tree ring now that it's stretched out back into the center of the painting. As you can see, the other paint that was already down moved with the tree ring in a twisting or twirling action. And it's kind of made a really neat looking design on the canvas. Cool. Looks kind of like a rose in the middle there. Here's a close-up of the finished product. There is a fair bit of contrast because some of that purple was allowed to pop back through. We've got some shimmer from the metallic paints. Interesting designs. And then the ring pour in the middle kind of looks like a cosmic rose. So there's a sink strainer pour with a twist. If you like what you see, hit subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.